tour, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to Venice. Let's take a little tour of my Airbnb, which is right behind us. And welcome, welcome to Italy. It's my first time in Italy. And of course, my first time in Venice as well. And um, I'll tell you a little bit about where we are. Um, in fact, here's a little picture of where we are on, um, on like a map picture. So we're staying right there, and here's a description um, from the owners of the Airbnb. And um, we are situated in one of the most ancient and typical Venetian districts, the Sestiri de Castello. This particular building was part of a block of palaces, which in the times of ancient brotherhoods housed immigrants from Fruili, people coming from Italy, northeastern region, or rather said the Frulani. The place is centrally located, just a six minute walk from Piazza San Marco, which is Epcot. We're gonna go there to parts of a different real vlog or short. Check it out also on my Instagram. And a stone's throw away from the also famous Arsenal and Biennial Gardens. And um, yeah, I'm excited to um, check out everything with you all. It goes in and explain some fun things about garbage pickup. I'm gonna talk about that too on um, other vlogs and reels. And let's go, let's go inside. And so we're right in front of a narrow canal. And people watching is like my favorite thing to do, both from the window and the doorway. In fact, here's me in the doorway. I'm here about to sit in the doorway. Let me just zoom it in a little bit. And in this spot, I would eat a little bit and people watch. listen to the music that's in the air. I even had fun just experimenting with trying to do a little watercolor painting of my view across the way. Um, the view that I would observe from my window or from the doorway here and it's actually a prop in a photo I took um, that's gonna be on my photography Instagram page. Maybe it's already there. And uh, here's the info on finding my photo page and Instagram to see what happens. I'm gonna work on it a little bit more when I get home, but you know, just for fun experimenting with some paint of my view from the doorway, the famous doorway here in Venice. And here's some of our Awesome boats going by. I even caught sight of a FedEx boat and a DHL boat too. Okay, so we're located right between these two bridges. Here's my view across the street. There are no streets, there are no cars, there are not even bicycles. Our roads are the canals and the sidewalks and every area is connected by awesome bridges.
Okay, so here's my little window. Here's our door. And here we go. Welcome to the Airbnb. It's actually nice and cool inside. And we have our living room area. Hey. I've got like my whole charging station over there. My um, adapter is in the wall which I've brought everywhere that I've stayed in France and now here in Italy. Um, kitchen bar area. Look at this cute fridge and freezer. Um, I got cherries yesterday at the grocery store. Don't they look good? I'll have some later. And there's um, a freezer in here. Grab some bananas. And there is the kitchen. Oven, stove top. So here is our view. Ciao. Okay, literally my favorite thing to do is talking to people that walk by. Some say hi, some, some ask me questions. They see me in the kitchen. They're like, hey, looking for something or, you know, so it's uh, started a few conversations, um, people visiting from other areas. So we can actually, so we can actually sit in the window and look out if you want. I also put a chair in the doorway. You can get in the window. So you can completely get in the window um, or set up a chair here to sit on to watch the boats go by. Also gondolas go by, taxis go by, vibrettos, also delivery trucks, ambulance, police and the awesome bell that goes off. Super fun, love it. This particular Airbnb has two bedrooms. Let's take a peek at those. Um, I'll also put up a picture of what it looked like yesterday when I first checked in when the bed was beautifully made. I've like pulled the blanket off one bed to the other and put all their beautiful throw pillows on one bed. Um, so it doesn't look today how it did when I checked in, but let's, let's take a look around. Oh, and how about the ceiling? Oh my gosh, the ceiling, right? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, let's go into the bedrooms. Oh, more, more boats going by. Oh, let's look at a boat go by. love watching the boats go by. Um, I think it gives such a beautiful feeling of like 
serenity, sort of. And if you are going to visit Venice overnight, I would totally, totally say, like for me personally, a priority would be having a window that opens to see a canal or a door that you can see the canal, um, maybe a little terrace, balcony, courtyard, something on a canal. Um, to me, it's a really an enjoyable part of the stay. And here comes someone now. A boat. Taxi boat. Okay, the bedrooms. Okay, so uh, back here we have one bedroom. Here's what it looked like yesterday when it was made beautifully. Let's take a look at the view. I see some Oleander's cute courtyard. course the beams throughout the place are just the best And in between the two bedrooms is the bathroom area. And we got the shower. Um, in here we also have a wash clothes washing machine. Um, iron ironing board. So beautiful bathroom. Okay. Oh, check out this adorable bench in this hallway walkthrough area. And always travel to Europe in the summer with multiple winter winter coats. In my defense, I don't necessarily know where I'm going next, could go somewhere cold. So if we're gonna judge based on being prepared for any possible climate, I, I'm ready. And here's what the bed looked like when I checked in. Fireplace. Here's this courtyard side view. There was some awesome laundry hanging here this morning. I love uh, hanging laundry. beautiful glass over here well that's our tour let's walk over to the grocery store it is not that far let me look back in my guidebook it tells us the name of it I did pop in there yesterday. Well, thank you so much for touring the Airbnb with me. Let's walk over to the grocery store. It's just over the bridge. I hear a boat. Let's go see what boat, what boat was that? 
Oh, a little one. Oh, two. Three. Okay, so we're gonna go over that bridge and the grocery store is like right that way. We're all backpack ready, ready to head out to the grocery store and to get some gelato. Let's go. Heading out our front door, we're gonna go um, to the right here, and we're gonna walk over that cute bridge. To the right, I mean, it's just gorgeous and picturesque everywhere, right? Like, I can't walk a foot without taking a picture. How is this even real? My goodness. Okay, let's hop the bridge. So the grocery store is right there. And there's our B&B. And I know my nail polish is all chipped. I haven't gotten to touch it up lately. Oh.
Wow, we're on a bridge above a canal. Okay, let's head on over to the grocery store. We're almost there. Beautiful breezy night. So delightful. Bye, Alo. And here's our grocery store. Let's go in. Supermarket. <laughs> You know what? I think I want to get a lemon. Lemon. Um. Oh, and I want like an orange juice or an apple juice. But first, we sticker it. What number is lemon? Let's see. It is number 14. Okay, so it's on the scale. And we'll say 14. And here's our sticker. 49 Euro cents. <laughs> 49 Euro cents. Let's go find um, juice. Let's see. Is this juice? No. Over here. Okay, so I'm looking for like um, apple or orange. Hmm. Oh, Tropicana Clementina, isn't that cute? That could be like, is that oh, my sunglasses? That's like an orange juice, right? All the way up there. This one's 100% tropical. Pear. Apricot, or is it peach? Okay, this one's got beets in it. Oh, that's good. Okay, orange or apple? <laughs> I spend a lot of time figuring things out in the grocery store. Let's just see what else is down here. All right. Well, let's go with that one that said orange. That one that was way on top. Um, let's see. Oh, 
Okay, let's go for that orange one. Let's see. Oh, gosh. <laughs> We're not getting the orange. Let's see. Um, Unless someone tall comes by. Oh, grapefruit. Oh, maybe there's an orange on our level. Is this, is this just apple juice? I mean, I'm only seeing apples in the picture. Suco de Mella Biologico. I mean, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and guess this is all apple juice. That, that's good, we can reach this. <laughs> hey, we've got the apple juice and a lemon. I'm gonna show you some mozzarella. It looks like there's some amazing cheeses over here. Okay, well that will conclude our little grocery store run. I've got a juice, we're assuming it's apple. Um, and a lemon. We're gonna go find some gelato next. Let's check out.
Thank you so much. <laughs> Bye, ciao. So that was our fun supermarket visit. Now on to find some gelato. So I put in my Google Maps gelato. A few came up, more than a few. Let's see which one we're going to. In fact, I'm gonna start this one over. This one looks like it's called La Mela Verde Venezia. Let's go. It says, at um, 190 feet, we're gonna turn on Calle Lion. It's time to go look for some gelato in my first gelato here in Italy. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so it says in 150 feet, we're gonna 140 feet, take a right on Calle Lyon. And it looks like we're just three minutes away from this gelato place. It says, then take the stairs, Ponte Lion. Okay, here's our right. And we are on our way for some gelato. I mean, just every single building is gorgeous. The plaster, the colors of the paint, amazing. <laughs> Two minutes to go. Okay, 90 feet, we're gonna take some stairs. Ponte Lion. Oh, I can't take it. Around every corner is like a fantasy world, right? Oh, my goodness. Okay, here's our steps. 
her singing. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at the restaurants. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, I haven't even gone this way yet. It's, I haven't gone around my, you know, aside from the entire boat ride over here from the airport, I haven't um, explored outside of my immediate surrounded neighborhood. So this is venturing out across another bridge. Wow. And wow. Okay, which way are we going next? Um, maybe this is the wrong way. Let's see. Um, yeah, this is the wrong way. Wow, what is this cool place? Let's see. Okay, let me see if this is the right way. Hmm. Also looking like it's not the right way. <laughs> uh, maybe it's like, yeah, it kind of is wanting, okay, okay, wait, yes. Okay, so it looks like, I think we're gonna go back through here. That, that could be it. Let me pop on. We're gonna enter through here on our quest for the gelato. It looks like we're only one minute away. Is it actually down here? We're about to find out. <laughs> it definitely wants me to go this way. Um, I don't know. I don't think. I don't think this is gonna work. Let's see. Let's see. Huh. Hi. Hmm. Yeah. This may just be all like residential, right? Will this lead us to gelato? No. No. <laughs> We're in a courtyard. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's try something else. <laughs> oh. Boy. Gosh, it's gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm going to start it over. Let's see. All right, let's see what it tells us now. Okay. It looks like we're going this way. It almost looks like we may be on the wrong side. Oh my gosh. This looks amazing here. Oh my goodness. Okay, it smells so delicious. Oh, oh my gosh. It's so beautiful. Okay. Well, it's saying we're 80 feet away. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's see if it's this way. Oh, it, it might be. I don't know if it's on this side or the other side. It looks like it may be over there. Mm, well, if not, we'll just walk back. Um, Let's see. Wow. Okay, I think we're close. I smell gelato, one way or another. It's either on this side of the street. Oh, pizza. Pizza. Oh, what else? 
else do they have? Oh, it said I arrived. Hmm. That means we're here. Oh, we did it? We did it. <laughs> Yay, we made it to the gelato place. Let's go ahead on inside and see what flavors we get. So I just got here yesterday. It's my first time getting gelato here. Oh, it looks wonderful. Okay, what should I get? <laughs> um, oh wow. Chocolate looks good. Good. Tiramisu. Oh wow. Okay, I think I'm gonna do a, ch a cup with on um, the two scoop, please. Um, I think I'll do a chocolate and uh, um, I think one will be the um, chocolato, the milk chocolate. Yes, please. And uh, okay, so I'm gonna go with one scoop of the milk chocolate and then what should our other one be? Um, what struck a teller? What's that taste like? It's a milk cream and dark chocolate. Ooh. Fluffy. Or then the giotto. You know what? Let me do, can I do the giotto? The um, coconut white chocolate and almond, please. Yes, yes. Oh, thank you, thank you so much. Beautiful, okay. And is it, um, what does it come to? Oh, okay, okay. Out of five, please. Thank you. Grazie, ciao, bye-bye. We did it. I got my very first gelato here in Venice. And I've got one scoop of the gelato, which is coconut, white chocolate, and almond, I think. I'll double check what I said in the video. And then we have a milk chocolate as well. Oh, let's give it a try. Here's the first one with the coconut. Mmm. Oh my goodness. The nuts in it is amazing. And now for the chocolate part. Mmm. Both are incredible. Thank you so much for joining me on this gelato hunt, a grocery store run. I hope it's apple juice. And for a tour of the Airbnb. Let's go to another spot and say goodbye.
Thank you so much for joining me here on this vlog in Venice, Italy. I had so much fun with you all. I'll see you soon on the next vlog. Bye. Ciao. Is my face in it? <laughs>